G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video was actually a request from one of my subscribers and asking for the measurements of the pack because they can't be found anywhere online. So I've got my tape measure in the pack and we're going to measure the main 18 litre section and we'll also measure the two side sewn on pouches and the rear sewn on pouch. They also asked does the canteen cook set fit in the side pouches? So what I've brought with me today is the Dave Canterbury Pathfinder canteen cook set or cook kit, uh, a cheap canteen cook kit, and my normal uh, titanium cook kit. I've worn the Helicontex Bergen backpack almost every day now for getting on to three weeks, if not three weeks. I've been wearing it around the backyard when I've been working. I've been wearing it around the house carrying different things in it. I've done multiple bush walks, five, ten kilometers in length. And it's still just as comfortable as it was in the first and second video. Today I'm not carrying as much weight in it. I'm just using basically the pack. And I'm liking it. What I'll also be showing you today is the two small pouches I've chosen out of all the pouches I've got. That fits best on the Bergen backpack here. They're from Tasmanian Tiger. Now here's the pack. First of all, I'll just show you what I've got in the side pouches. On this side I've got my water filter. And there's my Tokes 500ml, uh, no, 550ml pot with a 100 gram gas canister on top. That fits in the side pocket nice and easy. The pot here is the same uh, diameter as a 750 and most 750s so any or most 750 pots will fit in these side pockets with ease this side a little bit tighter there's a cheap off uh, Amazon or eBay, one of those. Canteen cook kit, it's about a 700ml by the looks of it. It came with a lid. And that all, even though it's a little bit tighter, it went in there quite comfortable in that side pocket. And that's that there. In the front pocket, 
as you can see, much taller filling, probably 85-90% uh, of the width of the pocket. Here's the Dave Canterby Pathfinder Canteen Kit. And that's including the lid, the pot, and the canister all went in there. Now fitting in the side pockets. I'll try first just the canister on its own. Now that fits in, hold on, I've got it caught on the buckle. Now that fits in there okay. Let's get it back in. And I've got some room to spare and play with. So now let's try it with the rest of the cook kit. So there you go, the Pathfinder Canteen Cook Kit fits in there. Rear room to spare, not as much as this back uh, sewn on pouch. But probably, what's that, 5 to 10% spare. So a little bit more awkward to get in. Now, I think if I had a full pack, uh, the main compartment full, that would be making that uh, more difficult to get in and out, a lot tighter. But I don't have a full pack today. So if you're going to load these up first and then do your centre, you should have no trouble. But there's only one thing about the Pathfinder set I'm not over keen on when they go into tight fitting pouches. And that is, let's get it out again. It's getting all caught up as you can see. is you're catching on this and these metal pieces and they're pushing against your pack they will so eventually they'll wear through there so I don't think I'll carry them in the side pocket I'd carry them in the back pocket where there's more room and what I'd probably do is put my towel or something in front of that to stop it wearing the pocket away but otherwise, that fits in all three pouches. It surprised me because I hadn't tried that in the side pouch. Now let's get my tape measure. I've got that in here. I've brought my tape measure. Now the way I'm going to measure this is we've got the seams and I'm going to measure across the seam length which is if you pull it is going to create the uh, box effect to the pouch which is going to give us the most accurate measurement I can get and then I'm going to measure it up to the top of the Cordura and then again to the top of the expansion point. Oh, and also from corner to corner. So the first one I'll do is from the corner to corner, and that's six inches, which is 115 millimeters or 15, sorry, 150 millimeters or 15 centimeters. And from the top of that, the stitching, I'll say to the corner, of the pouch to the bottom is 65 millimeters which is just a smidgen over two and a half inches and now the height from that point to here 
pull that tight is eight inches which is uh, 202 millimeters or 20.2 centimeters and now from the same point at the bottom to the top of the expansion is 10 inches which is 252 millimeters or 25.2 centimeters So there's the measurements for that one. Not a bad sized pouch, to be honest. You know, excuse the buzzing of the flies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Pathfinder canteen back in there. Let's put the lid at the bottom this time. No, I won't. the problem with the lid going at the bottom, you've got the sharp edge of the lid on the Cordora there. So I'm not going to chance that, I'm just going to lay that flat behind this once it's in there. Now I'll put that down the back. And I'm going to put this end, this side, the inside, or the underside of the lid, up against the back of the pack here to reduce any wear to that. And the next one is these side pouches. Again, I'll measure it from along the stitch line. And that is eight centimeters or 80 millimeters, or so it's just over three inches. And to the top here to is Let's get it right. Eight inches, which is 202 millimeters or 20.2 centimeters. And from these two points here, hold that there. Is, let's get this right. 12.5 centimeters or 125 mil or roughly five inches. So what was this one? If I remember this was, yeah, six and, six and a half inches, wasn't it? So I'll put the canteen away. Again, this time I'll put this bit facing the pack because this has got a sharp edge here of the lid. And on this side, I'll put my everyday cook kit back, or my small one. And that's got my pot in there, it's got my gas, my stove, my lighter, knife, fork, spoon, and now my filter bag. I should fit that nicely down the side there. So the answer to can we fix the canteen cup kits in the outer pouches, the answer is yes. Quite comfortably, comfortably, comfortably for the um, Pathfinder. But if we move the Pathfinder to either side one, it's going to be tight and there's going to be a high point of rubbing, which you could just see there. So I'm going to loosen that off slightly. So it's got room to move. That's it. And so what we may do is get some of my stuff out of here. That's got a bit tangled, come and done. And I'll see 
Oh well, I'll get my towel out and I'll shove that down the front of that to try and stop that metal piece rubbing on there. It's cheaper to replace the towel than it is the pack. Alright, that's protecting the pack now. So there you go, the canteen cockets fit in the side pouches and the front pouch. Now what I'm going to do is measure from that stitch there to this stitch here. So that's from this stitch to this stitch which is the main compartment. So down at the bottom and that is 40 centimeters or 40 millimeters or 15 and 3 quarter inches ish and now to the top of the expansion including the bottom is 51 centimeters or 510 millimeters or just a, a 20 and 1 eighth of an inch And a stitch here, and we'll measure from that point to that point now. So that is 22 centimeters, 220 mil, or what's that? Eight and just under eight and three quarters of an inch. And now the depth from the front to the back. Actually, the pack gets bigger at the bottom, so I'll measure it at the bottom too. So the bottom, there we go, that is 295 millimetres or 29.5 uh, centimetres or just under th uh, one foot. So what's that? It's 11 and three quarters of an inch at the bottom. And now to the back of the backpack, we have... 14, is that, oh no, 145 mil, which is 14.5 centimeters or five and three quarters of an inch. So there's the main di uh, dimensions of the pack now. So that's done. So now we know the dimensions of each of the pouches. We know the dimensions of the actual main compartment of the pack. The water bladder or the uh, holder inside your pocket or your pouch will hold up to a three litre hydration bladder. And like I said before, this internal pocket, let's measure that for you. Let's take that out. So the actual pocket is going to be from this point here. So that measures 213 millimetres or 21.3 centimetres and just over eight and a quarter inches. And we've got room under the zip there, so we'll measure it to the top of that. And that is 15 centimetres, 150 mil, which is six inches. And that, like I said, is my slightly over basic first aid kit in there and my snake bite kit. And that fits in that pouch nice. It can be a bit of a pain because you're having to lift it out of the way to get in there to get your stuff, but that's okay having my emergency kit at the top if need be. So what have I got in there today? I've got my DD frontline hammock, pillow, multi-tool, and odds and sods as they say. So put them back. I'm not going to need the tape measure either now. Let's put that in there.
Now getting to the pouches, both pouches are the same. Uh, the Tasmanian Tiger Tactical 4 um, horizontal pouch, they do one the same size but as a vertical. So I've got the horizontal because it fits a lot easier on here. And if I need to get in that pocket, even without lifting that up, I can still get odds and sods of smaller stuff out of there. But if I need to get in the main big stuff like you saw, I lifted that up and it gave me all the space to get everything I need out of that pocket, or out of that pouch. And this has got three webbing points it needs. So I've got two webbing straps going down. So I've got the one webbing, empty one, and then strap going through the third webbing. And the reason I chose this one, this pouch, is uh, Helicon Techs have got their own pouch, very similar to this, but it sits right out here. It sits a lot further out. The actual um, strapping is a little bit different. So it fits in the same points, but it's just not as comfortable fit and because it's a lot stiffer pouch with all the extra webbing on the back it made it more difficult to actually use this lift it up out of the way so as you can see there too we've got one row of the webbing and the straps coming through and then going through the one on the back which allows me to lift it up and down to get in and out here this side i've got my map and my compass And on this side, I've got my electronics spare batteries for the camera. We're doing all the filming. They go in there and I've got more room to fit more in. And that's the only reason I've really put these on is because I do the YouTube and make these videos and I need to carry the spare batteries. So we've still got the lashing points on the top and on the bottom and they also have the pocket here and here which is stitched at the bottom for your knife or your laplander saw and then you've got the axe which goes all the way through the bottom's open and that's the same on either pouch you have it going straight through and at the bottom so you've got a choice of carrying axe on left, right, in the centre, if it's small enough. If you've got the bigger axes with the bigger handles, they'll only fit through the side here. And the smaller hatchets and axes will go through the front, like I said, with your knife and your Laplander saw size. I hope that's answered the question, or the questions I was asked. And showing them pouches as well, the both in Coyote Brown, if you're wondering what colour they are. They match pretty well with the pack. And if you enjoyed the video or got anything from it, and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. And click on the notification bell next to it and click all, so you can get notified of all videos going up in future. And also click on that like button. And if you're already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get up there, have some fun and take care.